it's quite hard to visualize groundwater. But here at Tanifa Springs, you can actually see water discharging from the ground to the surface. It eventually flows into Lake Rotorua. Rainfall recharges into the ground and through different flow paths eventually finds its way to the surface. Although you cannot physically see them, New Zealand has a vast labyrinth of groundwater layers. They're what we call our aquifers and they provide drinking water for around 4 in 10 New Zealanders. So we couldn't manage without them. 80% of annual river flow comes from groundwater and it provides billions of dollars to our economy through either irrigation or tourism. Groundwater is critical to our surface aquatic ecosystems and for Mahinga Kai, freshwater food and the places it comes from. As important as it is, the quality and abundance of this vital resource are under threat. We know that 40% of catchments are vulnerable to shortage or contamination. What we don't know well enough are the impacts of climate change and economic growth. Also, in many catchments, we don't have enough groundwater information. National and local methods for testing and measuring impact are advancing, but are not yet where they need to be. Water use, volumes, flow paths and fluxes are still too poorly understood. So we're at a crossroads. We face the challenge of sustaining the social, environmental and cultural values of our groundwater resources, yet we are too poorly equipped to resist pressures from economic growth and climate change. The road we need to take has to be built with our best scientific information and expertise. That's where GNS Science comes in. GNS Science is a world leader in earth science research. The work we do is geared towards creating a cleaner, safer, more prosperous New Zealand. Our scientists have the skills and experience to produce groundwater maps for the whole of New Zealand. We have the expertise to produce maps that are 2D, the view from the surface, 3D, what the water looks like underground, and 4D, how this changes through time. We'll develop national data sets that are consistent across regions. These data sets will be spatially detailed, dynamic through time, and applicable for a multitude of hydrogeological applications. We'll use the same consistent underlying data to produce both local as well as national scale maps. We'll start with our own high-resolution geological map of New Zealand and improve it with sophisticated geophysical data. We'll invest in the national framework for the modeling of groundwater. It'll apply the most advanced numerical models, use 3D geological models, and continuously feed in the most updated data. We'll apply those data and models in studies that aim to optimize water management under deep uncertainty. Our research aims to have the strongest impact and benefit to New Zealand. Overall, we want a program structure where our scientists are thriving and are constantly positively triggered to perform at their best while having fun.